What is going on, my dudes? I've been having so much fun lately. I kind of, sort of, forgot about the 959 Corsa. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about my one month review video of what I think of this bike, what me and this bike have been doing in the last month, and what I've done to it. And so the first thing I want to start off with is that I took a trip with this bike to Newport Beach. This was the longest trip I've taken with this bike. I went to Newport Beach, the test ride, the new V2. I got a couple of videos of the new V2 and uh, it's a gorgeous bike. It handles so well. It's got the quick up and down shifter. I think you'd really be interested in checking out the videos. So be sure to check out the videos. I'll link it up in the cards description. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, right now I got about 308 or 310 subscribes. And uh, thank you so much for all of the comments. Thank you so much for the likes. Thank you so much for the subscribes. But we need to get me to 500. And uh, if we get me to 500, I got some special videos coming along. Um, as you already know, I got the V2 videos already up. And I, uh, at 350 subscribers, as I promised, I'm going to be having that V2 versus 959 comparison video. And of course, I got the V4S 2020 model reviewed as well. I'm going to bring out the video for that one as well. So there's a lot of good stuff in store, plus some uh, extra surprises. So please don't forget once again to like and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. So as I mentioned, um, when I first bought the bike, I bought the bike with about 1,100 miles. Currently, it's got 2,474 miles. Just recently got the uh, 959 Comfort Seat because the original seat was just so damn unbearable. So I got that for it. And uh, a couple things here and there. Oh, and I don't know if you can see this, but uh, I got this GoPro mount that goes right in the middle over here. It should be good for track day events coming up pretty soon. <laughs> Never sees to bore me. So yeah, I got some goodies for the bike. And, uh, and not only that, but this bike, when I first got it, holy macro, let me tell you something. It was just unbearable to ride. The suspension was so, 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 so hard. So I took it over to Dax. If you haven't seen the video of the, uh, the, the suspension, adjustments that I did with Dax. He's a very well-known guy in uh, here in San Diego slash SoCal. He does suspensions and uh, he works with a lot of people. And I brought it to him. He's a really nice guy. He adjusted the suspension on this and now it's pretty bearable to ride. But at this point, it's still, it's still a, a rough ride. And I, I think that's just basically down to like making it a little bit softer than it currently is. So I'm not going to put the blame on the bike. I don't think the bike is to blame. Now, Corsa in Italian means racing. So if you're going to get anything that says Corsa on it, which is racing, you, be, you better be prepared for a harsher ride because the suspension is going to be tuned for the track. Um, and that brings me to my final conclusion. This bike, its natural home is the track. It's the racetrack. It's got the MotoGP 2017 or 2018 uh, livery, and it's got the uh, the Olin suspension, front rear, and also the steering damper, the lighter battery pack, all the goodies, the electronics, the bells and whistles, and it sounds like an absolute monster as you can already hear it. So this bike definitely belongs to the track. So my complaints about the harshness of the ride, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, they're really not more. They're not about the bike because this bike could be someone else's bike and they can track it all day every single day it would never touch the streets and they wouldn't have the same comments as I would so please don't think I'm trying to I'm putting this bike down because I'm not it's more how I'm using the bike that that um, that warrants the comments about the harshness if I were at the track I wouldn't be making these comments I'd, I'd, I'd definitely talk more about how well it rides and I'm telling you the bike, even though it's on the street, it does not ride bad. It rides phenomenal. Now, all that being said, the, the, the suspension does feel much, much better than before. And now that I got this Ducati Comfort Seat, it definitely adds to the overall plushness of the ride. 
So as far as the ride is concerned, as far as the suspension is concerned, it's definitely much better than it used to be. So let's that takes care of that department. But uh, other than that, uh, uh, you know, it's been about a month, a month and a half. Well, let's just say it's been about a month since I've owned this bike. I haven't had any single issues with the bike. Uh, I am the second owner of this bike. It's a 2019 model, and I haven't had any, any issues with this bike. Now, I do have a friend who also owns this bike, and he complains that sometimes it doesn't start up. Now, I'm not sure exactly what's up with his bike, but underneath the uh, 2017 Moto, 2018 Moto GP color, uh, the vintage, the under underneath the uh, the Moto GP livery, they're basically a 959. It doesn't matter if it says Corsa or not. It's just it's just a 959. So my 2016 959. I don't know if you remember, I had that bike. Never had an issue starting up. So maybe uh, you know he just he just bought a lemon. But getting back to the 959 Corsa. Um, I, I think it belongs at the racetrack and I can't wait to take it to one. So that's next. But uh, so far so good. Everything has been well with this bike and uh, it gets a lot of attention, man. Everybody just loves the uh, delivery of this bike. It's just so beautiful. fast baby this bike is quick right now I have it on sport mode that's what I usually do I ride it on sport mode doesn't need anything oh yeah oh yes <laughs> now I, I I don't know if you saw the v2 video I have but the v2 has up and down quick shifter and I love absolutely love the, the quick downshift but the thing with this is that I rev match this bike into gears and it's, it's a lot of fun, man. It sounds like a freaking animal when you rev match it into gears. bike you don't have one of these come on you got to get one you got to get one of these bikes they're on sale right now super 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 duper sales happening right now because of the v2 now that the v2 is out these bikes are on sale you can pick this baby up for about 14 grand if you play your cards right this is a 2019 i bought it about a month ago as you already know a month month and a half ago and I got a pretty good deal, so this this deal is going around right now because of the V2. But the other thing is that these bikes are super rare, so they're going to keep their value if you do buy one pre-owned. Which is my suggestion, buy a pre-owned one, it's going to retain its value. That's one thing I love about this bike, it's rare. Nobody's got the, uh, nobody's got the Corsa version. Well, I shouldn't say nobody. Not a lot of people have the Corsa version. Oh, cool. That's a big kite. Look at that. <laughs> awesome. And don't forget, stay tuned for the full review of this bike coming up very shortly. I intend to do a full re review of the 959 Corsa very, very soon. It's going to have all the details and all the best bells and whistles I usually include in all of my review videos. This is just a little quick update of a one month first impression of what I think of this bike and how everything turned out. And I'm glad to say everything is pretty good so far. No issues, no mechanically, no issues. And uh, great, great, great bike. Highly recommend it to anyone who's looking for a Corsa model. All right, my dudes, that basically concludes this short little one month review of how this bike has treated me and how I've treated it and how we're getting along so far. 
and I'm happy to say things are amazing. So stay tuned for that full review coming up very, very soon. It's going to include all the bells and whistles as it usually does in all my reviews. And uh, thank you so much for joining me once again. Thank you for joining me once again. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.